Hey, you've clicked on this video because you've wondered, do Muslims use toilet paper? Find out on this edition of Muzzy Buzz. Don't worry about the language. Let, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Hey, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome back to another episode of Muzzy Buzz. Today, we're going to tackle the question of, do Muslims use toilet paper? And it's a fairly common question for most non-Muslims. A lot of non-Muslims have heard that Muslims use water when they go to the bathroom. And that is entirely true. But does that mean that Muslims don't use toilet paper? Well, the answer to the question is really in two parts or two answers. Uh, it's yes and no. Some people in the Muslim world simply only use water. They use the water, they wipe themselves and clean themselves with water, and then they go and wash their hands like they normally would with soap and water to make sure everything is clean. Then there are other Muslims, which I feel are the majority, they actually use toilet paper in conjunction with wiping or and uh, washing with water. Now, the way that works is they actually use toilet paper first and then they use water to clean and thoroughly clean themselves after they get done going to the bathroom. Now, I understand for a lot of foreigners, that might sound like a funny thing. You know, it might sound like a very funny concept, but let's break it down this way, right? Imagine you went ahead and got ketchup on your finger, and you can try this, guys, at your home, at your own will. You can try this. Put some ketchup on your finger or mustard, and then grab a napkin and wipe it, and then smell your finger, and let me know what that smells like. And I'm almost positive it's going to smell like either the ketchup or the mustard, whichever you chose, but it's going to smell like that, right? So imagine your own body, let alone your finger, right? Imagine, you know, your rear end. It's also going to smell, just like your finger would smell. And when it smells, what does that tell you? That means that something is unclean, right? I mean, when you go and take a shower and you go to take a bath, you, I hope you would, and I think most people do, they clean that area of their body because it's part of being clean. And so likewise, Muslims are in a habit of being clean because we're commanded to do so. It's part of our actual requirement for us if we want to pray or if we want to read the Quran or for different occasions, we should be clean. And it's actually recommended for us to actually be in a state of, of cleanliness as much as we can be. So yes, Muslims can use toilet paper, but it's not something that is required. But essentially, it's common sense. The requirement is to be clean, right? And obviously, we know that water and soap, and you know, that cleans the best. If you have something dirty on your hand, you're not just going to grab a paper towel and rub your hands and magically it's going to be clean, right? Likewise, the same thing with your rear end. You're not just going to let it be, you know, just rub it with paper and you know, literally that's what toilet paper is and imagine and hope that it's going to be clean. No, you know, we take our cleanliness very, very seriously. So to sum it up, the bottom line is majority of Muslims actually do use toilet paper in conjunction with water. And for me, in my personal preference, I think that's the best way to be. Think about it logically, you know? I mean, just do the experiment that I told you about, and I'm pretty sure you'd come to the same conclusion. But by the way, it's not only Muslims that actually use this. If you go to the Far East Asia, places like Japan and China, you will also find that they have things like bidets, right? Which is a very common thing. And nowadays, in, in many Muslim households, you will find either a, uh, a, like a little bottle that can be filled up before using the bathroom, or you can have a spray that goes on the wall that they pull out when they need to use and they spray themselves. Or they have these built-in bidets now with toilet seats that actually have built-in water jets that are actually aimed at the right area. Remarkably accurate. And it's something that has actually been brought to us by people in Far East Asia. It's been a very common practice. Actually, in France, they actually used the bidet. Maybe it wasn't an actual water jet, but it was, the com it was a common practice to get off the toilet and sit onto another seat where there would be water running, and essentially, you would wash yourself so that you were clean, right? So many cultures and many parts of the world have traditionally used water to clean themselves because oftentimes enough, they felt like it was the cleaner thing to do and it's common sense, right? So if you have any questions about this topic or any other 
topics about Islam that you've been wondering about, feel free to reach out and comment below, and I'll try my best to read the comments and get back to you with another video or an answer. In the meantime, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, like it, and subscribe, and also hit the bell so you know that when I make videos, you'll be notified. That's all we have for this episode of Muzzy Buzz. Until next time, let's talk about it. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Muzzy Buzz. Muzzy Buzz.